Hey family, happy Tuesdays. We got Tuesdays with Very Wise Alternatives answering the subscribers' questions. So a couple of emails I got in. Look, before we get started, like, share, and subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Um, I'm a little behind. I have so much going on this week. So uh, there will be no, no uh, consultations this week. Yes, I'm pushing them all back to next week. So I just want to make sure that I put that out. So from... Wednesday to this Sunday, if you get a, if I get an order in, understand it will be mailed out next Monday. So I just want to put that down. So if you order anything, it will be delayed. I'm going on vacation. <laughs> so I just want to put that information out. But I will be answering emails. Just let you know, I will be answering emails. I want to make sure I put that note out. Yeah, telling my business. But anyway, and so I just got a couple of emails from Patsy. Mike, Cole, and Christian. I'm going to lump them all together because it's really just talk about mucus. Just look at the slides. So today is going to be slide heavy because I want you to really get to understand um, why you're having these issues and different ways that you can alleviate these issues. So, so to me, when I think about mucus, I look at it as when a body becomes saturated with the acid poison resulting from fatty and acidy foods, a person will suffer from one or more mucus disorders. Here's a list of issues that people have when I was talking about Pat so Patsy suffering from ovaritis, Mike is suffering from conjunctivitis, Cole is suffering from hepatitis, and Christian is suffering from cystitis. Now you look at these different things you ever notice is saying itis. Think about it. All it is is mucus in your body. And you already know them is from the fatty foods and the acidy foods that we eat. Now, if you notice the American diet or just the way we eat, all this fatty food. Well, we're not eating enough fruits and vegetables, but you already look at the American diet. We eat too much bread, too much starch, too much wheats. And it's not the same the way we put different sugars, a whole bunch of sugars and and I know this is the same thing that I keep saying uh, again and again. But if you look at all of these lists, look at all these lists. So if you got mucus in the stomach, you got gastritis. If you got mucus in your mouth, look what you have. If you got mucus in your throat, if you got mucus in your in your nose, come on. How many of you guys suffer from this? How many of you guys suffer from hay fever? How many of you suffer from, um, look at mucus in your lungs, pneumonia? All these look familiar and I'm going to keep the slide up because if you can relate to any one of these words, anything like look at mucus in the brain, meningitis, all these things are coming from mucus. And this is when the great rest in power, Dr. Sebi was talking about if you get rid of the mucus, you know, you're cured, you're healed. You know, study shows, there's already study shows, same thing with herb, masses, herbs, Kareem. He tells you mucus, everybody's been telling you mucus. So that's the only reason why sometimes I don't do certain videos because we know what mucus does to our body and we're already here time and time again. And if we just adjust the, the diet, add, add more fruits and vegetables, because if you look at your, your urinary system, so in your urinary system, you already know if you got mucus in there, what it's doing to your body. It's going to slow your kidneys down. It's going to mess up your adrenal glands. It's going to mess up your bladder. So in little things, what we need to do is change. Look, look about your heart. If you have mucus in your heart, your lungs. Look at your, you know, look at the other parts of your body. If you relieve just the mucus, just drying the mucus out, drying the mucus out. Look at and and like we always talk about bird, burdock root. If you look at dandelion, if you look at all these, even uh, that cayenne pepper. If you look at all of these herbs, all these herbs, what they're doing is they're making sure they take care of the mucus. They're mulling. <laughs> I'm not even gonna talk. And you already know uh, bladder racks and sea moss. All the herbs helps with mucus, reduce mucus, get mucus out your body. But y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all don't want to hear that. Everybody just love the foods and get addicted to foods. And then we keep continuing. We keep continuing doing the same thing. So if you just change your diet, add fruits and vegetables and more water, more water. And look at the look at the uh, just putting a simple. Just so look at if you just use different essential oils, we can do to your body. What can help alleviate mucus out your body? Just breathe in certain essential oils. 
you know, help you sleep. If you use lavender, lemon, and tea tree oil, you have happy, happy lungs. There's two drops. There's two drops in the diffuser, and you have happy lungs. You just breathe this in, and then you can clean your air. So it's a lot of things that you can use. You could, for a good night, you can use four drops of lemon, four, three drops of lavender, three drops of peppermint oil, and two drops of frankincense for a good night's sleep. If you, like I said, if you want to relieve congestion, and these are all with uh, essential oils, two drops of lavender, two drops of eucalyptus, two drops of lemon, two drops of that, that <laughs> my favorite is the peppermint. So two drops of peppermint relieves relieves congestion and you already know we want to just make sure that we're breathing and we're breathing clean air because they say the dirtiest air is in your house but you know when you want to clean your house like you oh you know you open your house up for spring cleaning this you know this is something you can do and um different ways that you can get rid of mucus out your body you could do a colon cleanse substitute processed meats for healthier choices like i said increase your fruits and vegetables eliminate dairy meats from your diet you definitely want to increase different herbal supplements in your body like sea moss bladder racks you could do dandelion you could do burdock root mcthistle uh moringa you have uh ginger you have so many different especially garlic you could so many different um di different herbal substances you can have because what it's going to do is further cleanse your body like i said use those free doctors you can exercise you know do a parasite cleanse of course you could eat eat more alkaline foods you know in because uh, you want to do mucus less forming foods in your daily life limit acidic foods and take like an 80 20 you know i've been talking about that whole time do 80 20 like not relationship type but do 80 20 to where you're doing 80 percent good and 20 percent you know your treat and i keep talking about it all the time you know and then that will definitely you know alkaline and acidic you have that balance this way you got the balance and then you have uh then you have eliminated the you know mucus causing things from your body and you already know i always keep, we keep telling you about water you know i keep telling you about water you know if you're easily tired you know drink some water you got a headache you dehydrate it <laughs> especially if you find yourself especially if you find yourself want to lose that weight because everybody keeps talking about their weight water our body is like 70 it depends on your age if you're a baby 75 percent children like maybe 70 percent but when it gets to us and we're getting older our body's like maybe 60 to 70 percent water if we 70 percent water why are we so dehydrated because we're drinking and stuff that has a lot of sugar in it. We're not doing what we need to do is making sure that we get all that mucus forming foods out of our body. And look, I know it tastes good. <laughs> I know it tastes good, but we just need to change. And that's the only way that you can get rid of all of these things. And if you fall in any of these categories, any of these categories that you're seeing, just look at it. Hepatitis is mucus in your liver. Come on. So if you got hepatitis, let's get the mucus out of our liver. And I know you're like, Viola, the hepatitis is serious. Yes, it's serious. But it's mucus in the liver. Just like society, same thing I situate with my bladder. That means I have mucus in my bladder. So if you look at it, so next time you go to the doctor and they give you any one of these, they tell you have any one of these issues, you know where it comes from. It comes from mucus in that part of your, your body, mucus in your organs. So... Just want to make sure I touch bases on that. I'm just going to show this slide real quick. And, you know, it's the same. And this is the same age person. And then it's two different life choices. I'm just going to show it real fast, but it's two different life choices. And it, it's, it's just pretty much, you know, the way we live and the way we live our life. So, you know, one person took herbal medicines and organic foods. The other person's prescription drugs. And I know I, I can't really... <laughs> say too much on this because you know they banning us and they shadowing us and and we can't say certain things on youtube so i just want to say this show this slide real quick and and it's just the choice of our lives so it's your choice what you want to do with your body it's your choice what you want to how you want to eat it's all your choice but i just want to make sure i address um patsy with um with the ovaries mike with you know it's conjunctivitis cold with hepatitis and christian with the the urinary 
the urinary issues and this is just this is mucus. just mucus in our bodies and this is just some ways you can get rid of it so i would definitely eat ginger every day i would definitely take my sea moss every day you want to definitely uh, eat more watermelon, pineapple, raspberry, key lime, strawberry, grapes, cucumbers, you know, burrow bananas. So you just want to make sure that you're doing just as much as you can. Meditation, you know, that decrease anxiety. So you want to make sure you're, uh, I do turmeric. I make sure I do turmeric with a little bit of milk to flush the toxins out of my body and all is getting rid of, getting rid of the mucus. Because, you know, that's the enemy. Mucus is definitely an enemy of the gut. So I just want to make sure I touch bases on that. So definitely you want to just, you, these are, these are some things you can actually just incorporate. So if you really want to get mucus out your body, water, rest, meditation, healthy foods, fasting, yoga, nature, and definitely exercise because nature repairs everything. So if you find yourself with mucus, if you find yourself with gastritis, if you find yourself with, um, bronchitis, you know, same thing as hay fever and asthma mucus in your bronchial so if you find yourself with you know conjunctivitis like i was saying mucus in the eyes and i and i showed a little bit about um you know taking i know this is kind of hard we talked about it before if you take a little cayenne pepper and just do a lot of eye wash a little eye flush that will help it will help real quick it would burn but they're getting mucus out your eyes if you fall in any of these categories and i see i know it's a long line but you're like dang that's all of this mucus yes that's all of this mucus that is all is mucus. So Patsy, Mike, Cole, and Christian. What you want to do is have a mucus diet. You can like just start with this. You can start drinking two cups of warm water every morning when you wake up with a little bit of lime. You can like I always speak it all the time about that water. What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're continuous drinking half your body weight in your water. You can add sea moss gel. You know, a lot of people just do sea moss gel. I rather do sea moss pills. It's easier. Sea moss, I know it's easy to make, um, you know, but it's your choice. It's your choice what you want to do. You can actually switch a uh, different type of oil. So you can use olive oil, uh, avocado oil from milk, for replacing a cow milk, you can use hemp. So if you look at this, and you know, you can just use replace all rice, use wild rice or that black rice, and they say use quinoa, change of salt. Same thing with said change of salts. But if you look at this, you know, you don't want processed cereal. You just you just don't want that regular sugar they use. Try to use date or coconut sugar. You can actually just switch your um fruits and vegetables to more alkaline and add that so i just want you to make sure that you know so these are different, different ways that you can get rid of mucus out your body i'm herbless viola happy tuesday i hope i answered all your questions if you can shoot me an email support at verywisealternatives.com and i'll make sure i answer your questions but all right family <laughs> you guys have a great day bye